Hello, I'm Max Balegde. And I'm George Clark. George Clark. Uh, I'm George, George Clark. Clark. And welcome to the Useless Hotline. Woo. TikTok wasn't working out for us, mm. so we decided to set up our own little bossiness. We did, and it's called the Useless Hotline. And the Useless Hotline is a place where we help you with your queries, no matter how weird, embarrassing, or disgusting they are. But it won't always just be us. Oh! I know. Oh. Sometimes we'll be joined by a potential employee, oh. an interviewee, a... So below, uh, something-y. If you will. A dinghy. Yes. No, not a dinghy. Um, yeah, so it's just us two today. Should we get into it? Yeah, let's bloody do it, mate. Let's bloody do it. So, um, <coughs> what have we been up to? Um, You've been on the other side of the bloody world. Do you know what I have? Yeah. I really have. I've just been travelling my little tits off. Did you find yourself? I did, and I was upset, because oh. I'm a twat. Yeah. Um, but you probably already knew that, and all of you at home might have known that as well. So Could have just sorry. looked in the mirror, didn't need to get yeah. those flights. But oh my God, I had the best time of my life. I want to move there, George. Do you? I want to pack it up and leave. Well, that doesn't bode well for the business, <laughs> does it? <laughs> I know. Hey? But it's just so much nicer. Like everything. What do you mean? Oh, it's just hotter. It's hotter. No, when I tell you... Oh, I went to Australia, by the way, if that wasn't clear. I was literally on the other side of the world. Um, it Sydney, wasn't just a precise. weird joke. <laughs> it wasn't. Was it Bonza? I don't know what that means. Nobody actually said that. Somebody there. doesn't know their Australian lingo. No, I don't. Um, did, did you it, Did you learn any slang? Um, not really. Do you no. know what a bogan is? Yes, that's like a redneck, yes. which is also slang. But they kept saying to me, oh, "Is a bogan like chav?" And I was like, mm. "No, it's not. You fucking is that idiot." Your Australian no, accent. <laughs> no, is a bogan like <laughs> chav? <laughs> right, maybe I just did an American accent. Well, there was Americans there as well. Oh my god, George. No, there the weren't. Best. It wasn't just Australian. No. You weren't the only person not from Australia. Exactly. How crazy is that? No, not at World Pride. Oh, it was just the best time of my life. Genuinely. Also, I have never felt love like I did from the Australian people. Well, Pride will do that for you, man. <laughs> no, like, people were just so... I had no... Me and Andrew went on this trip, and we were told that we were going to be taken by TikTok, and there were going to be people from all over the world yeah. from TikTok taken as well. If you're if you're a fan of TikTok Australia, by the way, it wasn't me that was on the trip. It was... <laughs> it Explain was that just, story. That was, was just Max and Andrew. Yeah, so we was at, the par at this party. <laughs> it was, like, the second night or something. <laughs> And TikTok Australia posted on their Instagram story a picture of me and Andrew and tagged George. <laughs> and I, bear in mind, I, we didn't know any of this was happening until like the day after because we'd been no, out and everything. You'd made a full video on it. TikTok literally sent <laughs> you. So how do they not know it's you? I have no... I, well, they, no, they tagged me. Yeah, they tagged Andrew. They I've tagged Andrew. They tagged no, me. I have literally no idea. Uh, no idea but then, how that happened. the comments on my video said, to be fair, you do look kind of like Andrew. I don't think you do. You just both have a beard. Clearly got a type. Ooh. You have nothing in common. Oh. He's got a massive cock. I've seen yours. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Oh, Can't God. win anything. Can't win everything. Yeah. Um, but it was end. the best time of my life. <clears throat> oh, my God. Honestly, we were like, oh, we'll go. No one will know who we are, but we're going to have like a really cute time. Yeah. Genuinely, George, I got... Oh, my God. I was such a celeb. I Honestly. I felt like Princess Diana. Oh, God. As in, I died in a car crash. I didn't. Oh, oh. my God. Oh. I'm so sorry, Princess Di. She's not I'm, watching. I know she listens. <laughs> um, she's a fan. Oh, I feel really bad now. Anyway, yeah, moving on, moving that. on. Um, honestly, it was... Do you know, like, we'll... <coughs> if we, like, we'll, go we to still talk about the, something... The royal family? No, <coughs> me okay. now, but it's okay. basically the same thing. Yeah. Um, people might come up and be like, oh, hi, like, I love your videos, whatever. Genuinely, I think we've Can't got relate. stopped more times in Sydney than I would in the UK. Wow. Um, honestly, it was mad and i think well we spoke to the australian team and they said like similar to how people from the uk view americans as like bigger celebrities because they're more like yeah. out of reach australians do that for americans and british people so genuinely people also, were like american crying. celebs they're all boring yeah true uh, true boring yucky mm. uh, uh, people would like <laughs> what was that oh i didn't like that oh god that was upsetting um People were like, <clears throat> this peop This girl was like crying. Shit, honestly. Shit. You would, you would think I was like herself. Justin Bieber or something. Oh, shit. She, she, she this bag's She did. 
Oh. oh, it was just amazing. Like, people were just so kind. There you go. News just in. Max loves it when he gets attention. I Who do. Knew? I really do. So Who please knew? feel free to give me more. Um, but it was just the absolute best. I met I met people. I met... Right. Do you know someone called Will? Yeah, Will Gibb. How... He right, was in so house, imagine... He was in my house like Imagine <laughs> my confusion when someone comes up to me and they're like... Oh yeah, I know George, and I'm like George Clark. He's like, yeah, 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 like blah blah blah. No, this person, this person, and I was like, who the fuck are you? Like, how That's do you know? Rude. No, I didn't say that obviously, but I was thinking in my head, how the on earth do you know all these people that I know, and you're from Australia? Not taking into account, of course, that he could have just come to the UK. Oh, he um, and he was a lovely guy. I yeah. really liked him. Yeah. yeah, yeah, very nice guy. How do you know him? Um, big fan of me, he is. Oh. <laughs> no, um, yeah, you just we we've got a little group chat of sketch tiktokers right so yes yeah, so he told me about that and i was like well, i've heard about that group yeah. chat but i had no idea that he would be so does he come to the uk a lot i didn't ask uh, no, him he's many been, questions he's been he's been once oh my god i he came around watched the footy wow light 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 indeed um, um and yeah. i walked in oh my god i walked in the parade oh my god so wait why were you in australia because I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine, we get told we're gonna be on the TikTok float for the parade. So yeah. that sounds like, do you know when like parades, when they have them vehicles? Yeah. So I was like, oh my God, we're gonna be fully like standing on, waving at people. Wasn't like that. Someone's been to Disney too many times. Yes, pretty much. Um, we got there and then they were like, right, so um, basically, I think it's like unsafe to have multiple people on a vehicle like that. So instead they said, yeah. there's gonna be a vehicle and you're all gonna be walking behind it. So I was like, oh, that's fine. It's Australia, it's warm, whatever. And then they said, all right, so you're gonna be coming to the studio and learning the choreo soon. George, we had to do a full <laughs> dance lesson, like a dance, <laughs> bear in mind, I'm with like drag queens, like queer artists, like people who can dance from all over the world. Yeah. And then there's me and Andrew at the back, genuinely. And they're like, okay, now Vogue. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> like, oh, I was so bad. And the dance teacher kept like looking at me like, this is not gonna work. Um, but I, I made sure that we were at well, the they back. Just, they just assumed because you're gay that you can dance. Well, it was very easy choreography, <laughs> pretty much, yeah, pretty much. It was very easy choreography to them. But to me, there was a lot going on and I just yeah. couldn't do it. Um, but I had a great time, except for when we actually went to do the parade. So we've been doing this full studio day nice. where we, we learned all the choreo. And then obviously when we learned it, Classic we didn't- Classic dance, I call it choreo. There we are, yeah. When we learned it, we didn't take into account that we'd be walking at the same time. So, oh gosh. Oh, he's, Don't worry. he's kept it yeah, in. held it, thank you. Um, so we do, we're, we've learned this choreo stationary and now we've got to move. And, I, and my brain just couldn't do it. I did it once. Bear in mind, we mm. walked for about an hour. Yeah. I did it once at the beginning then I just walked the rest. And oh. I was like, but I literally felt like Princess Diana. People were like it's screaming. Finished. I was like, what is going on? Yeah, it, like, oh. I feel like it would have been weird if you were just dancing for a full hour behind her. Yeah. Like it's, it's more normal for you to be like just yourself. Exactly, yeah. Her, right? um, so that's what I did. But it was just, honestly, I've never felt anything like it. Like. The, I, the love, the, the weather, just the, the vibes from everyone. Jeez. It was, I'm going every year. Classic gap year student where they come back from traveling. Shut up, that's how I Honestly, feel. Honestly, you, you wouldn't understand if you, if you haven't been out there, No, man. The you vibes wouldn't. Are just so oh my different. God, it's so good. If you're from Australia as well, please comment down below because I want to know how many Australian people, like, because I was shocked at how many Australian people knew who I was. So we might have a huge Australian yeah. fan base and we don't even know about it. Yeah, I was going to make a really... It's just stupid joke then, but you, but you don't need to tell us you're go from on, Australia. Go on, tell it. It'll just be upside down the comment. Oh, that's funny. That's really Jesus funny. Christ. That's really funny. Yeah. And we were with like the American TikTokers, well. such lovely people. I just had the best time, George. Bloody hell. Are you under contract I wish I wasn't to say here. This? No, I'm just And I cannot life. get over how good the TikTok app is. <laughs> it was so good. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, yeah. Um, stuff that happened in the UK whilst I was away. Yeah. You got we into a, a fight with Jake Woo, Paul. Woo, Max is oh. gone. <laughs> Shut up. Um, Tommy Fury and Jake Paul had a fight. Yeah. Did Scrappy you watch do. it? I did watch it. What did you think? Um, what did I think? Um, I what thought, did you think? I am over this whole influencer boxing thing. <laughs> um, are they like, but Tommy Fury is an actual boxer, isn't he? He's, I think he's, yeah, he's, he's a professional boxer. Right, okay. But, I I'd say, I'd say it's not too outlandish to say he wouldn't have 
anywhere near the eyes on him if he didn't go on Live, Love Island and his brother wasn't Tyson Fury. Right, okay. So he's like, like he good, is, he's good, but he's not like, he's good, he wouldn't but be a he's, famous one. But people wouldn't be going, oh, what's he going to do next? He's a prodigy, he's an up and coming yeah, boxer yeah. If, if he didn't have all that behind right, him. Right, okay. Uh, but there's a, there's a reason that he, they, he was pipped against a YouTuber and the YouTuber was given the higher odds and everyone was like, oh, what's going to happen? This is going to be a good fight. If you're what a does professional higher odds mean? Like more uh, likely like to the win? Be- the, yeah, so the betters had Also, people Jake. thought that Jake Paul would win. Yeah. Ah. But, so I'm so say, say you've trained your whole life in a sport and a YouTuber comes along and goes, oh, I fancy doing this now, trains for like four years, and then comes into a fight with you, you'd be like, oh, maybe I'm not all that if I'm getting put against. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, well. Fuck you, Jake Paul. Next time, fight me, and we'll you'll lose to another British person. Max v. Jake Paul, coming soon. If you had to, if you had to have an influence of boxing fight, who would it be against? Jake Paul, and I'd win. Wow, okay. Um, well, let me think about who I could actually beat. Um... No one. I don't think I could beat anyone. I think I'd cry if someone punched me. I don't know me. who you... Who, who would I put you against? I don't know. Me, ideally. <laughs> um, I think I would lose no matter what. I think I'd be very, very bad. I did kickboxing as a the child. Submissive. I actually went to kickboxing as a child. There was a kickboxing group near my house and I did got get kicked lost? out of it. It's on the way to stagecoach, was it? Did you get lost? How dare you. <laughs> um, no. That sounded like such a sort of... Oh, no, a mean thing yeah. to say yeah maybe you are a mean person have you ever thought about that I have many nights before yeah. I go to bed but I got kicked out of kickboxing for messing around no, I want to I want to set you up in a boxing fight I, why I don't I, I don't want you to do you. that who no. could you take who's who's like not many people genuinely not many who people who would make sense who's got your build go on um, who does have my build George uh, I'm really keen to hear this one know any famous frogs <laughs> <laughs> fuck off <laughs> just because i spend the majority of my time beneath water oh yeah well, amphibian joke oh um anyway should we just get into our shift because i'm getting a bit upset now yeah right yeah do you want to pour a drink because i can't drink because i'm taking my antibiotics so i'm having coffee today Got a health king mug of water right Oh, I need to reply to VK. Oh, I need to pop my... Oh, wait, wait. I have Crocs. Wait. Sorry, we are entering the Croc break. I'm back. These are the Crocs that VK sent me. Oh, oh I've taken the giblets off. Oh. There is a bottle God. of Crocs. <coughs> How are you going to reproduce now? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Look, they've got little VKs on them. Nice. This is not spawn, by the way, and there's a bottle opener. So when the VKs arrive... Sorry, if if, if I, somebody gets a bottle out and you whip off your croc to open it up... I think that's sick. Is it? Yeah. Or unless you don't take it off, you just go... Exactly, <laughs> that's the plan. Did you like that flexibility? Oh, I did, that was really Flexibility, good. sorry. Yeah, right, pour yourself a drink, go on. All right. Be done with you. Um, Shoe. Tell you what, Shoe. seeing as I don't have to um, drink with you... Mm-hmm. Oh, so you're saying that I bring you down to the little girly drinks, is what you're saying? Yes. So without me, you're just big laddie lad boy who likes to drink beer and hit women. Shut up, pass us your croc. Uh, c- croc. No, All c- right, okay, should we try? That had an R in it. Wait, how can I do this? Not because I was sympathetic. Oh. Can I come over here? Can you? Am I in frame? This, is a, fun, this is a fun segment of the right. podcast. <laughs> give on, give, give <laughs> it a go. Oh, my God. Go on, tell, tell the audio listeners oh, what you're, what you're right. doing. Oh, yeah, audio listeners. So I've come over to George's side, and there is a bottle opener on my croc, and I'm going to try and open his beer. He said croc, by the way. Yep, croc. Using um, this. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit, it's going to go away for a minute. Oh! <laughs> well, like, that, that wasn't the sound of the bottle cap coming off. That was the sound of his bottle opener <laughs> firing across oh. the studio set. Oh, uh, oh, well, right. <clears throat> oh well, I'll just use my when I got my keys, as that's a much more handy way to. Oh no, Max, you frothed it! Oh, oh God! Oh, you always make me do that. What am I like? <laughs> right, this is a disaster. Oh, Max has made me um, splooge all over the table. I can't find my croc. Also, my beer's fizzed up. Oh, 
Um, we'll have to find it later. Jesus Christ, what a loss to the community. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I need to get, have you got any tissues anywhere? Um, I do in my pocket, Wait. Oh, that sounds like a nice thing. If anyone ever offers you a tissue at your... Sorry, is that a roll? roll in my Did you pocket. just take the cardboard out of the middle of a toilet roll and put it in your pocket? Maybe. How often do you shit yourself? <laughs> Quite a lot. <laughs> I drink coffee now. Look at me. Oh, wow. God. Right. Also, please subscribe whilst we're waiting. I'm so sick of telling you all to subscribe and nobody does. <laughs> this is a hate crime at this point. Stop what you're doing right now. And subscribe. Loads of you watched that Talia episode, and I bet you didn't subscribe, did you? Even though you enjoyed it. Yeah. So look at Idiots. us. So look into the camera, George. Look deep into the camera. I, Max Belegde. You say I, George Clark. I, are we getting married? No, maybe. I don't know. And we'll I, George Clark, take One, the Max no, Belegde. No, no. Repeat first after time. me. No, it is for the first time. Never taken him before. Want everybody to right now look into the camera and say it. What? Well, I've, I've just repeated. Repeat you, after I? me, yes. Sorry, right I, now. I, I'm just an echo in this. Absolutely, yeah. Why can't Do I it. add bits in? But, but maybe you can on the next verse. Rebel, 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 whoa! Say, say that Remix. bit. Remix. Rebel, rebel, rebel. Say that bit, and take, then you can add some. What did I say? Not take anything. Want everybody to right now. Want everybody to right now. And now you can um, add something. Do you say this as well? Make sure that it's about. Yeah, I'll say it after you. But make Ooh. sure that it's about subscribing to the channel. Um. Subscribe, because I'm a big manly man. Subscribe, because I'm a big manly man. Nice. Yeah? Yeah, that felt right. But actually do it, otherwise I'll be pissed off at you. I love you all to death. Like, I literally love Jesus you. Jesus Christ, rabble on a little bit more about subscribing. Sorry, sorry, but please do it right now. I love you so much, but please, I'm, I'm upset by your actions. Anyway, oh my God, can you hear the phone ringing? Yeah, I can. Okay, I'll answer it. <laughs> Audio listeners. I'm picking Follow up the audio phone. listeners. There wasn't a sheep that was just wandered <laughs> into the studio. That was Max. Right, guys. This is a serious question, and I only want serious answers. Okay, so don't beat around the bush. Okay. I don't know. Right. How do I convince my boyfriend to let me peg him? Ooh. Oh. I have been wondering this for a long old time. How do I get my boyfriend to let me peg him? Mm. I mean, I guess you could ask nicely. Yeah, that was a good um, way to start it off. Maybe slip it in? No. Maybe stick on EastEnders. Oh, and then say, and then, now we've stuck on EastEnders, do you mind if I just stick this on as well and ram it up your ass? No, not where I was going. Oh, right, okay. What were you going I was say? going to stick on EastEnders, mm -hmm. um, watch for a whole episode, um, wait for Barbara Windsor to go, get out my pub! Mm -hmm. And then you go, oh, I love Peggy. Do you? Oh, right. Or I'm just going to go and hang up the washing outside. Do you have any of them pegs? Oh, now you think of it. Can I peg you up the arse? Yeah. Or say, are you, are you a fan of video games? Mm -hmm. Have you ever played Peggle? Oh, what about those little sweet things that you can get? A Pez where, where dispenser. Called... Oh, that doesn't really... You can go, oh, I really love the first two letters of this... This Pez B. thing. Um, I love physical, had... physical education. Imagine Do you if... want to peg me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I think that there are all some really good points um, and yeah. some really good ways that you could go about it, to be honest. So give them a go and let us know how it went. Is that the end of the advice? So. That's not the end of the advice, surely. Well, I mean, all right, then, okay. Um, I'm about to say, have you ever been pegged? Have I ever been pegged? But Does that mean like a you... strap on? <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't just... say I have. The logistics of that just don't, I saw this thing once on Twitter and it was like um, this lesbian and she put it on and she was like, the thought of Sorry. like pegging somebody with a strap on and then the reality of it. And the thought was like this like girl being all like sexy and cool. And then the reality was that they have like this Velcro belt around them and it actually looks really awkward. Cause they have to get like, a big thick like rope style thing that oh, goes through their legs and everything and wow. then they're like effectively just putting on a thing just in a harness yeah just like basically like they're at PGL about to go on the giant swing <laughs> bring you back to my PGL experience yeah. did you get pegged at PGL oh, I didn't I didn't get to PGL did you not? I thought you didn't pass unless you got pegged I put the E in PGL did you ever get your pegging Peg badge L. Hmm? 
Did you ever get your pegging badge at Scouts? Didn't get the pegging badge. Did you no. get the rimming one? I, I did. You got the rimming one, did Only you? Only because my uncle was one of the Scout leaders, so he gave it to me for free. Um, right. Okay. <sighs> God, memories. <laughs> <laughs> where, where have you how have you <laughs> taken it there i don't know and that's not true by the way oh it's not it's really not true did oh, yeah, you because, go to scouts uh no did i you went not? to why are you why are you saying like that you just strike me as such a scout you used to strike me as one of those scouts that went, stayed on for a bit too long and then would act like they're really cool and be but, like no. oh you're new here oh well, once you get this full sleeve you'll be able to tie swiss army knots and then like be like fuck off pete like oh sorry you've never had a girlfriend like but you can tie seven different types of knots well done you pete that's what you give me thanks man <laughs> <laughs> so did you or not what did you do then again before you went on that rant <laughs> no i didn't actually. did you ever do beavers cubs <laughs> i've been trying to do some beavers for a while but um <laughs> no I, I uh i didn't do beavers you really um, strike me as a beaver cubs will, if you do cubs that'll get you arrested oh god uh, <laughs> oh. Oh, god. I, I, oh. Um, never did any of them <laughs> my the sister hell? went to rainbows that doesn't count. That's so like pussy. This my sister. My sister went. Yeah, but no. <laughs> my sister went to rainbows, and you literally just like color. <laughs> Shut up. You literally just like coloring things. I was in fucking All right. beavers, like diving on oh, the floor. Oh, well, that's a limax. No, no. Oh my god, there was this guy um, who was a. Why? What is it about scout leaders? Where they're always just a bit, That's bit really off hot. about them. <laughs> no, there's always some a little bit something off about them because they volunteer. Oh, it'll be that they, they do scouts. Well, yeah, probably. Um, they're always volunteers, so they don't get paid. I don't think. And there was this one guy. Oh, they do, but it's not monetary. Everyone called him Dodgy Dave, <laughs> and he was one of the leaders, and he was just a bit odd. Bless. Sounds him. like a nice bloke. Yeah, no. Um, and he would like shout at us. To be fair, we were probably all little twats because we used to like throw sticks at him. Um, scout vibes, woohoo! You went, I so loved you went it. to scouts. I did. I how went to for? Beavers Cubs and Scouts, all of them. All right, I left. How long for? When, when did you start? I when probably you left Scouts when I was in like year eight, because you get in when you're in like year seven, and then I was like, right, this is actually a bit weird now. Yeah. Um, but it's very. Yeah, I learned. Oh, it's a only lot. a year long experience. No, you can do it for like ages, and then you become like an explorer scout or something and meet the queen. Well, she's cool. dead now, so that's not happening, is it? That's, that's where the exploring comes in. Yeah, to be fair, that would be a real exploration. Get your, get your shovel out. Explore the afterlife. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, should we move on? <laughs> I don't even know how we got onto Scouts, but yeah. Oh, have you got an email in? Because I think you have. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you may yeah. as well. For the audio listeners, George is tip-tap tapping away on that email. Lovely. How many words do you reckon you could type a minute? Um, you know that's like your type speed. Oh, do they have to be big words? Or can I just try I, 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 over and over again? <laughs> I mean, they give you a script that you have oh, to okay. type out. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know. Probably not that many. I'm not very good. No, that's an interesting conversation. Yeah. Cheers, mate. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> Shitlords. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I can type oh, loads, Don't say mate. we don't treat you on this podcast. <laughs> right, go on. Right, um, <laughs> this one. I don't know why I teed it off with this one. This one. Hi, guys. Hi. Massive fan of the pod. Aww. Basically, the dilemma I am in... Right, this is... There's no punctuation whatsoever in this, so okay. I'm going to read it like they intended. Yeah. Hi, guys. Massive fan of the pod. Basically, the dilemma I'm in right now... So I got back from a rave right now, so I'm a bit drunk, but I said to this girl at the rave, I want... I, I Wow. Wow. I... I, I Hi guys, massive fan of the pod. Basically, the dilemma I'm in right now. So I got back from a rave right now. So I'm a bit drunk, but I said to this girl at the rave, "I want, I love, I want, I love Max Ballady," and George, I love George. Anyway, mm. girl, she punched me in the face. <laughs> she punched me just because I like, I like you too. Pretty much moral of the story, <laughs> spelt more with an L on the end. <laughs> More L of the story is she hates me because I love you too. Now, what advice would you give to me? Thanks a lot. Love the pod. Bye. Sent from my iPhone. So to recap, a boy went to a rave and got very drunk. Probably did other things as well. Told a girl that he likes me and likes you and then got punched in the face. I well, love I'll, that. I'll give you a brief recap. Okay. Um, they're a bit drunk, but they said to this girl at the rave, I want, I love, I want, I love Mags Ballady. Mags Ballady. No I G mean, in there. 
I love my <laughs> I know you've been wanting it for a while, Max, but I told <laughs> oh, you it's not gosh, happening. Oh, gosh, what a wonderful um, body language. And George, I love George. Anyway, oh. girl, she punched me in the face. She punched me just because I like I like you two pretty much more. Well, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know how to help with that. I've never dealt with somebody who has been punched after saying that they enjoy me. Um, mm. Have you dealt with that before? I can't no. imagine. No. I usually give them a swift high five. Ah, okay. And a good old handshake. Yeah, good old handshake. Thank job. you for liking um, me. That's kind. That's quite interesting. Maybe it's the way that you said it. Maybe this girl liked you. And maybe, maybe it's she the way she walks. Oh, possibly. Um, bit of 1D for you there, if you know what I mean. <laughs> hey. um, I really want to make love to Harry Styles quite a lot, actually. Oh, well, that's come from nowhere. No, I've really been thinking about it a lot. Well, I mean, it, I was looking the wrong the wrong ways. It's obviously come from one direction. Yeah, because um, he was in Sydney when I was in Sydney. And I just felt like oh, that was fair. Well, I was I, looking I, for him I everywhere. for Sydney. How's she getting on? Oh, she 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 takes it well. She takes really? it well. Yeah. Harry and Max. Um, but I just wanted to put that out there, Harry. I know that you maybe like men. I'm not sure. If you do, can I be the mom for you? I know I have a boyfriend. I'm sure he wouldn't mind. Um, and I'd very much like to just have a kiss. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> right there, you go, Harry. Make sure you. Make wait, sure you wait, get back to advice us. Advice for this person. Maybe she likes you. There you go. You can have it if you want. Okay. Maybe she likes you. And she came up to you in a way of like, oh, I want to, hey, I'm flirting with you or whatever. And then if you turned around and just said, oh, I really love Max Blake and George Clark. She don't know who that is. That she could goes, be a rival. No. Like me. Yeah, you're supposed to love me. Yeah. So maybe she's jealous. In which case, jealous is the disease. Get well soon, back. So is stuttering. Oh, actually, no, it's not. Jealousy is a disease. Jealousy is a disease. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Hope that it, there's not a lot of swelling, and if there is, actually, call the police. Someone shouldn't just punch you like that. Mm. Call the police. Lock her up. Lock her up. Nice. Throw away the key. Give it to me. Mm. Ugh, I, I absolutely know. hate I, I feel like a crackhead. I've had like three hours sleep. I had to take these really strong sleeping pills to go to sleep that I got um, from an American. Because oh, you can't even buy them God. here. Very strong. There's where and you're I woke up still feeling very drowsy and very weird. Um, and then oh. I've just had a coffee this morning, having another coffee now, and I'm not feeling okay. Wow. But let's carry on. I've, I've got... I've got a game for oh, you. Oh, you've got a game? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because you're in the right mindset for oh, it. Have you yeah. ever heard of the word association game? Yes. How about the word dissociation game? What does that mean? I say a word, you have to say another one, pretty sharpish afterwards, but there has to be no tie to the previous word. Oh. If I can make a tie, or if you can make a tie to the word that I say, then ye lose. Oh my God, okay, I'm ready. Right, go on, say a word. Uh, cabbage. Chew. <laughs> chew? I can't say chew. What did you say? I don't know. I was going to say, like, lettuce. Yeah, but, but that then would I was have been like, very, chew. that would be the most applicable word to cabbage. I was thinking chew because I eat it, but then that's, that's, oh, the it was right, chew. right, right, I right. You I got said bang. cabbage, jew. Jew oh, no. would have been okay. <laughs> jew would, oh, I should have gone with jew. Why didn't you think of jew? I don't know. Right, right. okay, right. My, going... I, was, I was trying to think not cabbage, but I still went for eating. Yeah. Right, okay, teeth. Um, labia. Oh, both body parts. Both body parts. Oh, fuck. Why don't we go for labia? Oh, and you can lick them all. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll go for... Um, oh, I didn't like that. Artist. Light bulb. Um, that's quite good. That was that, that's no connection. Cat. Dog. Oh. <laughs> why is it? Why is it? Oh why is it? It's so much ah! harder than the word association. Game, right, isn't do it? another. Do another. Okay. Um, a gutter. Rain. <laughs> oh! You're so bad. Oh! Gutter and rain. And that's like rain goes in the gutter. Oh, let me try to think of a link between them. That's right, difficult. right, right. Go, on, go on, another one. <clears throat> okay. Um, floorboard. Plant. Mm, I feel it like there. You, no. put, you put a plant on a floorboard. 
When the hell? No, you can put a fucking anything on a floorboard by that uh, context. Yeah, but a plant is commonly found on a floorboard. Right. No, it's not. Yeah, it when, is. You, when, when do you look at floorboards one and they're covered in plants? Literally one right That there. is a one-off situation. And that plant is more so on a pot, I would say, than a floorboard. Mm. Wrong. I win. You lose. My one. Computer. Um, games. Why oh, oh, the fuck? I said games. Yeah. I was going to say yeah. gay, man. That might have been okay. Um... <sighs> Curtain. Um, quick. Furniture. Boy, <laughs> I'm, I'm coming up with random words, but they just happen to be related to them. Right, no. Uh, right, one more for me. Uh, Skittles. Um, <laughs> table. Um, uh -huh. I win. Opener. No, I'm, I've had enough of this game. <laughs> I've had enough so, of this game. I literally just finished so it. I just, mm, never mind. Right, I've had one come in. Actually, no, I've not. I've had um, an audio. I mean, what? The phone's ringing. <laughs> oh, really? I mean, the phone's ringing. What? Oh my god, what am I like? There we go. Hi, Max, George, and special guest, if there is one. I'm having to talk really quietly because it's quite late. Um, but I have a problem with only fancying people I work with. Mm. Like, I've only ever really had feelings with people that I work with, which I think is really strange mm. because, like, I have lots of different other social aspects of my life. Be the only people I've actually caught feelings for are people that I've worked with, and it kind of makes it really complicated. Because mm. part of me is like, I really like you, but <sighs> I don't know if I can pursue this because we're going to be seeing each other every day. Mm. And like, if something goes wrong, mm. then what do you do? What do you so, do? So yeah, I need a bit of advice. But loving the podcast, you're doing great. Thank you. Thank you. Was Will that you Ant? Was that? At what? the end, you could tell I picked up a bit of Anthony McPartlin at the end. Yes, I think it was. You're doing great. Yeah. That's um, fun stuff. I can't... Well, you've constantly been... Oh, here we go. Feelings. Oh, you fancy a boy at work? Shut up, Max. Maybe Don't project your inner feelings on me, pal. Maybe he's sat opposite you right now. And is there anything you would want to say? I'd say, clear off. Get... Psh. Wow. wow. Well, you used to. Well, you used to work in a school, and you often found yourself falling in love with the people there, didn't you? A primary school, that is. Um, yeah, the other how teachers did you... were great. No, you were. You told me the you other were the teachers only... were great, Max. You were the only. The teacher. teachers were fantastic. You were the fun. only teacher. There, I had a great you? affair with the music teacher. Yeah. Um, I am the music great. man. I come from down my lane. Let me tell you, she did come from down her lane. That's what he sang to trap the children. How did that go for you? How did you get Why are it? you trying to throw these allegations <laughs> on me? I don't know. No, no, no. Um, I think it's really common for people to... My my flatmate... Which where you spend most of your day. You, you get to know them more But that is just bad red flag. Like, you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't I know, be mixing but that, work that, with that, pleasure. That's why, it's that's like, why it happens. Yeah. But it shouldn't be happening. I'm so no. sick to death of hearing my flatmate say, I fancy this boy from work. Another one. I'm like, that's like your sixth boy what's this week. What's the turnover rate like at her work? Incredibly. Where does she like, work? The... She works in property and it's literally like new people joining all the time and they're all just shagging to, each other. I think of an, uh, a circumstance where loads of people fall in and out of work. Um, what do you want? Because chocolate factory? The school you used to work at. Because they would no. be really upset and leave. Um, would you want to be Willy Wonka? Or would you want to be one of the people with the golden ticket? Oh, I've got it! The, 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 the line of work where people keep falling in and out of work. What, does, she, does she work as the casting director from Ben from EastEnders? Because <laughs> he keeps getting recast. Hmm. Maybe just Ben from EastEnders then, not the casting director. No, because Ben from EastEnders keeps changing. Exactly. You can't fancy yourself, Max. I've told you this before. Uh, I'll find a way. I'll do it. Anyway, you were saying something before I rudely interrupted. With yeah, my... people just shag each other at work, don't they? Yeah, um, all the time. Quite often. What is Speaking of, fancy a quickie. What do you think would be the most inappropriate workplace to fancy someone? Maybe a, a funeral director? Well, the funeral directors, you could just do it at the office. I guess so. Nobody would be watching that's alive. The hearse driver. Oh, God, yeah. How are you going to fit Although that I don't in? really know who you're meeting at work. Yeah. Well, I guess they'd all be single. Isn't it mad that people shag dead bodies? <coughs> Sorry, Gary, what did you say? That is just crazy, isn't it? <clears throat> mm. Like, can you imagine? Why can't to shag imagine. A dead no, body. I don't want to. No, me neither. But, like, that is mad that people do. Mm. Why are we talking about this? I don't know why you're, why you're doing this to me. I don't know either. Maybe we should stop. We should. Yeah. Did you have any thoughts on which workplaces? <laughs> have you ever fancied anybody in the workplace? Um, I... 
my first job was at a chippy and all Ooh. my colleagues were 40 plus you liked women. the savaloy did you so yes i did um one of them was called Ange. she was lovely we got along like a house on fire nice. oh my god really awkward story i once worked with this woman for that ages is awkward uh don't you know i'm gay <laughs> oh i worked with this woman for like a year and i remember like a bit into it i genuinely believed genuinely that this woman was easily 40 plus right easily so somewhere along the line we were talking age. about age yeah oh, okay we were talking about age and she was like how old do you think i am then go on and I'm thinking, well, she's obviously in her 40s, so to be nice, I'll say 36. She was 24. What? I'll never forget it. I went home and told my mom, I was like, guess how old she is? 24. I, she looked haggard, like life had really had its way with Hagrid? her. Hagrid? Hagrid. That beak? Yep. Is that how she spoke? Mm -hmm. It was. <laughs> Um, funnily enough, she had a huge beard the entire time, and she oh. shaved it off, and that was the only time I'd seen her face. Did you have a beard at the time still as well? Um, yes, I was or with my you girlfriend. Up your girlfriend at that point. <laughs> ba boom cha. That was, that was what I was trying to yeah. Do. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess no, because I, yeah, I just worked in a chippy full of um, forty plus year old women. They were all lovely though. Nothing against them. I just didn't want to finger them. Do you know what I mean? Um, when was hmm. the last time you fingered someone? Last night. Last night. Mm. Oh. Is that why Arthur's unwell? Yeah, no. I was trying to. I was, do I was it trying to, to give him a pick me up. Yeah. Oh, did it work? No. I mean, you physically did pick him up, didn't we're you? This, we're, not, we're not exploring <laughs> this anymore. I said to him, um, <laughs> "No, we're, we're not doing this oh, anymore." Okay. Um, I've I did it last week. Last week. I did. I don't know why I said that. Can we stop? No, I mean, you brought it up. Oh no, I didn't. You did. You have a tendency to. Oh. No. Well, right. Any advice course. for this person? No. Stop shagging people for your work. You're doing it to yourself, love. You well, know that it's I bad, and you keep doing it's, it. If, only if it's something where you feel like it's going to work out in the future and you're like, I can't see myself being it with anyone other yeah. than this person. Then you're like, I guess it makes sense. Mm -hmm. You can be, you could be professional at work and then you can play hard like that. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> or just go for like a dinner or something. Yeah, it can work if you're like both very able to kind of dissociate work and then being at home but it's just not going to happen you just fancy them because you're spending a lot of time with them and it's also this like thing oh we shouldn't be doing this because it's probably bad blah 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 it's so naughty. then it makes you like them more you and then realistically you don't even like each other if you yeah. move to a different workplace you probably stop yeah. so fuck off and grow up unless it's meant to be <laughs> yeah then embrace it and get happily married after married. happily married after What's Happily the word? Mary ever. What am I trying to say? Happily, Happily ever Mary ever. <laughs> Happily ever after. Mm. I've got an email coming in. Oh, oh well my done. god! What Big are flex. the chances? What are the chances of that? Absolutely crazy. Is that Lily and Kaylee? I can hear. Possibly. I don't. Have know. I told you the story of the Scottish woman? No. Well, let me tell you. Sit down, relax, and enjoy the show. I'm sat. There's once a Scottish woman. Mm -hmm. She was. I was going to do a limerick. Oh. Um, she, I used to um, have a villa in Turkey. My family did. Okay. <clears throat> we used to get a lot of BBLs. Oh, no, um, nice. we used to have a villa in Turkey, um, mm -hmm. and there was it was on a complex. Oh, uh, complex situation. Quite hard, quite hard, quite hard to understand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it was just a villa complex. Mm -hmm. um, where I was in my room and I think, am I in a villa? I had a villa complex. <laughs> oh, no, we were in a gosh. villa complex. I'm going to carry on with the yeah, story Yeah, please now. tell the story. Um, <laughs> um, and uh, there was a, there's a couple called Jan and Wayne who lived there and who had owned a villa. Jan Wayne. Jan and Wayne. <laughs> Janan and Wayne. No, just Jan and Wayne. Okay. Um, and then there was another uh, Scottish couple that lived in another one of the villas. And this was when, do you remember when they were the Iceland ash cloud? happened oh it yeah but a load of ash and nobody yeah. could get home so we were so we got back from the shops and we, we were the scottish woman said oh any news on the ash cloud and the ash cloud ash cloud she's oh, scottish okay. but she can't right. speak yeah um and so we said oh no uh yeah we're, we're still stuck um and she said pill wean and we thought why has wayne got to know mm. why would we go and tell wayne so we said, excuse me. And she said, till when? Little did we, she was saying till when. 
Till when? Tell Wayne. Oh. Uh, so we told Wayne. <laughs> Ran all the way back. Oh, rolled in. Oh, you never guess what we just did. Did you tell Wayne? Uh, we did tell Wayne. But it was till when? And it was another week. There you go. Anyway, I think we got, <laughs> think we got an email. Do you know what, George? I'm so glad that you interrupted this really good work. That's a good story. Workflow that we had going on. There you on. go. You're welcome, TikTok. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't steal that story, everyone. That's, that but it's the property don't. of George Clark, okay? That is his story to tell. Oh, the best bit is I told that on Alex's video recently, so that's going to come out as well sometime. Oh, this God. <laughs> Everybody's going to know the story. Jesus. Are you ready um, to hear me speak and do this? Well, I'm the answer is no, but we'll do it anyway. Hi, Max and George. Say hi. Hi. I accidentally slept with my best friend's brother, who's six years... Oh, my God. Old? Who's six years older than me. I thought he was going to say who's <sighs> six years old. That was about to take a very upsetting turn, and I'm glad it didn't. Yes. I'm glad we didn't go down that path. Let's like carry on. That. While she was in the room next door, she asked me if anything happened, and I said no. But now I'm scared she's going to find out and be annoyed that I lied. Do I just tell her what I did, or just wait until she finds out? I don't want to argue about it, because we spend every day together. Help, George is sexy, thanks. Well, that last bit's not true. Um, so, I think... Did you add that bit on? <laughs> Awful. Um, I think... Bit weird. <laughs> I just forgot. Don't you that find was... George is sexy? Oh, yeah. I think that's weird. Oh. Um, <laughs> no, I think. Could you have sex with your friend's sister whilst they're in the next room? That'd put me off a little bit. Maybe if they were watching, I'd get into it because then that's a bit added excitement. Mm. But not if they're in the next room. That's so What's boring. What's the age of this woman? We don't know. We'll never know. We'll never know. They're six years older than them. Yeah. We'll just, wait, we'll just wait. assume they're of age. She could be like 10. She well, Ages do work like that. Yeah, but it's, it's we'll just assume that they're of age. Yeah. Okay, then. So she's 18. That makes that him <coughs> 24. 24. That's normal. Mm, I don't really like that. No. It's allowed. I mean, it's allowed. Yeah, it's allowed. It's like, like, get on girls. with it. Yeah. Girls allowed. Girls Allowed. I really love Girls Allowed. Do you? It's coming up that they're like 10 years. It's 20, coming up. You like them that much, do you? Yes. <laughs> oh my God, I'm getting erect. No, it's it's becoming their 20 year anniversary this year, I think. I'm oh. very excited. don't know what that means, but I'm very excited about it. Is anything going to happen or is it just... Maybe. We'll see. Oh. Maybe me and Girls Allowed have got something in the works. Comeback tour, if you will. Well, you've been in a different band. Only Boys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Absolutely. No girls allowed. <laughs> yeah. Just no like, girls, thank you. Just like my <laughs> sex life. And now coming back to this question. Oh, segue. There you go. That was good, wasn't it? Um, I, I think tell them, because your brother's either going to tell, tell his em. mates and then it's going to come back it around. Will, it will, it's better coming from your mouth. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, God. That's oh a hell of a God, sentence. As long as you're of age. It'd be better hearing it from your mouth. Yeah. So I don't want to hear that from, from, from my somebody, friend's mouth. Live them from your brothers or like somebody yeah. else. Oh, God. Can you get like... Oh, I was about to say something so disgusting. I don't even want to say it. I'm just going to ignore so it. I had... I I could say this story. Go on. No. Can I? Yeah. No, I can't. Why like, can not? I? Yeah. yeah. We can edit yeah. it out. No, I um had uh, sex with my friend's mate. No, I had <laughs> uh, my friend's mate. Just, just, a, normal, mate. <laughs> just yeah. a normal story. <laughs> yeah. um, my friend, um, for his first time... Mm -hmm. Was with my other friend's I you were sister. Say with your sister, then no, I was like, she's my crap. other friend's sister when really? he was at his house for a sleepover. <gasps> That's very similar to this, then. <laughs> oh my god! Did your friend find out then? I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> what? And they're like they're like best mates still. That is crazy. Could you forgive somebody for doing that? Like you invite them I, into your I couldn't look picture at them this. The same. You and your friends hanging out. Like, oh, should we have a sleepover at mine? Yeah, that sounds sick. Oh, my sister's gonna be there, but it's fine. You know, she's twelve, but it's okay. It is what it is. What? How old was the sister? Like eleven. No, she was. No, she was. She was. She was. She was, <laughs> she was older than us. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, how old were you at the time? Like eleven. No, she. <laughs> she. We were. Oh my god. I think eighteen. 18. 
Mm. Devil <laughs> no, we at were, 18. No, we were, no, we were, Devil. We were, we were. Why are you having sleepovers at 18? Um, you were 16, I weren't you? Yeah. I was a cool kid. Yeah. Yeah, that was so cool. I was in my room. <laughs> no. <Anyway>. Um, <laughs> would you ever have sex with one of your friend's mums? No, no, that's weird. That's that whole thing's weird. What's like, the oldest person you would have sex with, age-wise? Uh, how old are you? Twenty-four. <laughs> 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 Go on, twenty-four. Uh, twenty-three. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, go on. How no, old? I'd, I'd no. The oldest person I'd be with, like twenty six, seven. Twenty-six. So if a twenty-seven-year-old was like, so, no, I yeah, think that that's maybe? too low. I think that's too low. But Some people look banging and they're like in the thirties. I'm not saying, oh, 27, you look like a fucking crustacean now. No, but you can I still just... have sex with someone and not want to be in a long-term relationship with no, them. No, you can't, Max. Oh, God, does yeah, it, sorry. It, it doesn't work like doesn't that work in George like Clark world. <laughs> it works like that in Max world. And let me tell you, I'd <laughs> fuck a line of 60-year-olds right now. I once met... <laughs> 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 I once met this person online who was very much a lot older than what they'd portrayed let's say and when what i arrived at their house yo max <laughs> what are you saying they had son? a backwards cap on a big gold chain yeah. no when i arrived at the house it was very obvious that this gentleman was perhaps in his a gentleman late 50s <laughs> early 60s did he have to get the stannis lift? no um he was in great shape bless him he was in oh. great shape bless him <laughs> and i think we kind of i just remember being like oh i'm here now I may as well, like, just do what I came to do. But then, a bit into it, I was just like, when he started talking about his children, and then his grandchildren. No. Yes. <laughs> How old are you? I was probably like, what, it was probably like a year before I met Andrew, so what, 21? And this guy's like, well into his 60s, and oh. things just got really awkward, and it became very apparent that I maybe wasn't that interested. So we just sat and had a chat, he got me a brew, everything he had this lovely house uh, we sat and he uh, talked about his children and oh. then he asked me like what i wanted to do he offered me a job at the company that he works at for when he finishes what? uni are you sure that you've got the right end of the stick was this not just a job interview no 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 we were came to have sex with each other um but i just very quickly was not really into it oh. and yeah bless it it was a lovely guy though, in great shape 60 years old he told me that he was in i i think his his profile said that he was like 45 and i was like do you know what like times are tough um i was like i'm just gonna give it a go like that was the oldest person that i would have been with then i got there he was definitely 60. um wife he had a wife for years and then he decided no i need to live my truth and i'm gonna divorce you and we have kids we have grandkids does he present the cube yeah i think i've seen him on morning television (laughs) i think it might have been philip Schofield. not a fan of queuing no, 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 hate to queue. That's what, well, I, I literally walked into his house and there was a delivery man there as well about yeah. to, and he just went, just go right past him. Mm. You don't have to queue. I hate queuing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Interesting guy. Very white, silver hair. Interesting mm. guy. Very white. Very white. Um, oh, can you hear the, the phone ringing? I Did can. we give advice to that person? We, we didn't. Maybe the phone's not ringing. Oh, it was a false alarm. Oh, don't it was, it was do just that. The fire alarm. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't do that in in future. Don't shag your friend's sister. Yeah, best not. Or brother. Or don't brother. shag your friend's brother. Or sister or mother. Or, or sister father or, mother, or mother. Father, grandfather. Don't do it um, unless they're into it and you all just want to have a little cheeky play around. Well, I mean, they imagine they would have been into it. Is... I meant the brother. Oh. Unless they're like, yeah, go on, shag my sister. Go on, I like that. <laughs> yeah. I, I, but again, I, that's I, quite I, worrying. No, no, thank you. Yeah, no. Next, next. Oh, phone's ringing. Oh, that's handy, Oh my God, go on, get it, get it, get it, quick, quick, quick. Smash that, George, well done. That was really good, that. Thanks, man. Hey, Max and George. Hi. Um, I love your podcast. Thank you. But I have a dilemma for you guys. Mm-hmm. So I went to a family member's birthday party mm-hmm. last year and I got very drunk and I wet myself. But... Um, she did what to herself? Wet I herself. went to work the next day and oh. somehow all my colleagues found out, probably because I did tell them. But now <laughs> I go to somehow. work and they call me pissy pants. Oh. Please, can you help me? And I don't know what to do. Have you ever wet yourself as an adult? Um, no. I have. <clears throat> no, I can't say I have wet myself. Oh my God. Maybe a little dribble. 
I was once when in... I've said a particularly funny joke. What and I've gone, George, that is funny. Oh. <laughs> Someone has to. Mm. Yeah. Right, I don't think we've told this story before on the pod, but I was in a very fancy establishment... I like the... I was in a very fancy establishment in London, and... I needed a wee so bad, and I was also so drunk, like, so drunk. Were you, you were there, weren't you? No, I wasn't. Were you not? No. I had left at this point. Oh, yeah, so You're, I should have yeah. left by this point, yeah. but I didn't. And I remember being sat down and so physically incapable of even getting up because I felt so drunk. And I needing a wee... Lazy. Lazy. And needing a wee so bad that I literally just, under a table, bear in mind we're outdoors... <laughs> Oh, this is so bad. I don't it's know so what bad. you're saying. Uh, because it's quite relevant to the story. I'm pissy pants as well. I just let my cock out and pissed on the floor. So no pants involved, just floory, pissy floor. Yeah, I pissed on the floor. And I felt so upset about it the day after. I woke up and I was like, I can't believe I did that. Honestly. But I did it. And I need, to, I need to live in my truth and accept responsibility for my actions. Because I whipped my cock out under the table and I did a wee on the floor that is absolutely horrible by the way it is that's disgusting it is but in my defence I've been drinking a lot so it was basically just water that was coming out of me like clear liquid oh that's fine then yeah should have just got you behind the bar and fill up the, fill up the glasses yeah I did tap water straight from the tap love go on have a drink fill can I just up. have a tap water please <laughs> yeah sure <laughs> Oh, I feel so bad. I'd done that once before, when I was 18. You pissed and drank it? No, no, no. Oh, oh my God. <gasps> I just remembered a story that is so awful. Oh, it's so Say awful. it. We can, we can cut it if it's bad. Oh, my God. It's so awful. Say it. Say it. When I was like 18 years old, I was in my local Weatherspoons, right. and there was this girl sat at our table, and it was back in the day when I'd get like a pitcher of cocktail. Yeah. She went to like the toilet or something. You know they've just got a menu, they can see them on there. Shut up. I need to pissed, I pissed inside of her picture a little bit and then came back. Put, oh, oh my God, right, so I pissed in it. This is so what? awful. What, 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 uh, what piss on demand? What I'm, cocktail was it? I don't, but is that relevant? Yeah. I, like a pissy one, I don't know. Like <laughs> the, what's the orange one called? Porn star martini. Oh. Pissed our martini. Yes, literally. And um, I pissed a little bit in it and then put loads of vinegar, like a bo- like half a bottle of vinegar, literally. You're such a nice friend. Well, no, so, well, we weren't really, I wasn't really her friend. Oh, that's all right then. <laughs> oh, sweet, fair <laughs> I game. I got like dared to do it because basically someone had done it to me and I drank their piss. Oh. And it was, I was horrified. So then they were like, oh, you do it to her. Because she was like in on it, this girl, like she like orchestrated that it. That makes happening. it more okay, but still she is getting... If she was just in on it. No, but she like orchestrated the main orchest- it. Oh, okay. Orchestrated someone pissing on me, in me, down my throat. Pissing in you? Well, pretty much, yeah. And then I Ooh. basically pissed in her picture quite a bit, but then I felt bad and I was like, oh my God, I can't have someone just drink my piss in front of me. Like, that's too much. So I put half a bottle of vinegar in. Oh, that's much nicer. No, so Ooh. that it's obvious. You sm- you could literally, it stank of vinegar and it was so obvious that there was loads of vinegar in it. She got back. Did not notice. She's there sipping away. Sip, sip, sipping away. So then I'm dying. I'm literally pissing myself. <laughs> well, jokes. Um, laughing like, how on earth has this girl not noticed she's drinking piss and vinegar right now? And then um, what happened? She kept going. And then so we I was remembered like, she had coronavirus no. and she'd lost her sense of taste. <laughs> no. We were so, bullying the poor girl. <laughs> no. So then I was like, oh, let's have a competition. Who can finish the picture first? She drank the whole thing literally half a bottle of vinegar i was like <laughs> she, her insides must be bleeding right now she's drinking my piss porn star martini at weatherspoons is already like pushing it yeah. out a bit like that's bad for you <clears throat> add half a bottle of vinegar and my piss that's my a cocktail piss? i don't want to have okay mm. that's oh. not a woohoo no it's not that was a, was a woo woo is yeah. the hot cocktail woo woo is, is sims having a yeah it is have a sims having a good old bump yeah bump um, but yeah, what a story, eh? What a story. What about the woman pissing herself? What should she do? We haven't oh, even yeah. uttered um, a word of advice. I mean, well, what yet. I did the morning after I had my instant when I pissed on the floor is I just pretended it didn't happen. So maybe ignorance is bliss. I say embrace it. If everybody around your work is calling you pissy pants, as soon as they, they're they saying that because it's like, ah, oh, she doesn't like it. As soon as you start, if you overdo it, be like, I'm pissy pants. Look at me, I'm pissy pants. Yeah. I'm such a little pissy pants. Everyone be like, 
It's not that funny anymore. Everywhere you go, piss yourself. Yeah, they never As soon like, as someone says it, piss on command. Well, that might increase the chance of them calling you pissy pants. If yeah, it's just... but if you remember, if you, I am pissy pants girl. I'm covered in piss 24 <clears> 7. <throat> Can Ooh. you drink your own piss and survive on it? Um, Doesn't Bell Girls do that? Bell Girls. Malgrins. Bell Girls. Bell Girls. Bagels. Bagels. Doesn't Bagel do that? Bagels. Um, Bagel. Bear Grylls has done that, but only in extreme circumstances. Right. Right, when he's only filming when his television show. Only when nothing left to choose from. Yeah, you know, he can take a bit of... <laughs> oh, piss. Take a bit of piss. Oh. He, does, he does resort to that a bit too easily, I think. Yeah. At any given point, he's like, do you know what, I'll oh, drink can my I have, piss. Can I have a Coke, please? We've only got Pepsi. That's uh, okay, I'll okay. drink my own piss. Oh. I think that's pretty much how it goes. Yeah. Um, so maybe just be, just, I am pissy pants, girl. I'm going to live in that truth. That's a shit superhero. Well, it's yeah. a piss superhero, <laughs> actually, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, bless. Fun, though. I say embrace it. Fun? Good advice. I don't know. Yeah, but embrace. Embrace the face. Embrace the piss. Should we move on? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for the audio listeners, George is tip-tap tapping away on his keyboard. One hand, I feel maybe. like a crackhead, by the way. My brain is not working properly whatsoever. Well, it doesn't normally, his so you know, just, nothing's different. Everything's just a bit crazy for me right now. I feel like I need to yawn. I'll do it, then. I did. There you go. I make everybody yawn. And you can yawn. No. A bit different, maybe. <laughs> How the fuck did I do that? For the audio listeners, <laughs> Max has just taken the printout and just thrown it on the floor. I don't even know how I did that. Right. <clears throat> hey guys, I'm really in need of your help. Okay. Well, what do you know? You're going to get it. That's not what it's That was my ad libbing on there. Oh, really? Um, I've been talking to this guy for two years now and we've been on quite off. Flex. Mm, let me repeat that. I've been talking to this guy for two years now, and we've been quite on and off. We agreed that we'd first. We agreed that when Bloody we first hell. started dating, we didn't want to do anything sexual until we were eighteen. And now that time's come around, he sent me pictures and videos of him pleasuring himself, Ooh. and I don't know how to tell him that he's disgusted me. Like I feel so bad, but it's so small. That was in capitals, by the way. That's why I shouted. Yeah. Um, like in the video he sent, he was using two fingers, and it covered top to bottom. What does that mean? Well, uh, I can tell you exactly what that means. Basically. Um, my um, his <gasps> uh, penis it gets to the is the, that leg is two yeah two fingers, not this way that way, that way. That's a heavy burden for this map. Well, it's a quite a light there. burden actually. It. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Mm. Um, that's actually I had to actually do that in my scouts promise measure my scout leader's peen. How many Moving fingers on. you on boys? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> That didn't happen, by the way. They were very respectable gentlemen. Um, two fingers and another. Like, I don't want to make him feel like a dickhead, but I wouldn't even feel his penis. Well, that's all he is. Yeah. I just want to know if I would be mean if I now just ghost him after two years of talking and planning our future together. Could you imagine speaking Ooh. to somebody for two years and then they see your penis and say, actually, I'm, I'm out of that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All the time, oh. baby. How do no. you get over that? Um, quite easily. It's not very high. Um, oh, literally. That's a weird thing. It's to actually say. constantly hard. You just can't tell. I don't really know what I was saying. There. Yeah. Um, um. Wow. What an interesting dilemma to have. I think the advice that I would give is, yeah, ghost them. If you know that you're never going to be sexually satisfied with them, <coughs> or um, we can go full circle and strap it on. I guess you could just say. Is that as big as it gets? Want to grow it up at new, new room for more? I was in a sex <laughs> shop recently. And have you ever been in like a full on sex shop? No. Oh my God, George, they're so entertaining. <clears throat> Usually it's all like in like the gay areas of places. Do they have, is it like boots we ever try it before you buy it? Oh, one? George, you have no <laughs> idea. Where it's got everybody else who's used it before. Oh, <laughs> oh that's disgusting. I need to take you to a sex shop because they are Ooh, wild. Hell, Max. No, that would be hilarious. They're, they're not as intimidating as they sound, but most of them, you go downstairs and there's like an extra okay. bit. And when I tell you there is alien sized dildos like there's dildos that replicate horse cocks that are like literally this big this wide massive traffic cones that are meant to go inside of people and i saw a penis pump the other day you put your penis into like a big 
glass chamber. Glass, that sounds dangerous. Pump the air out of it. Do you know like the Kylie Lip, Jenner lip challenge? Yeah. You do that, but for your penis, and you're supposed no to do it. No sucking involved, I and it gro- it like doubles in size. We saw a video of someone doing it. It doubles in size, and then ultimately it like goes back down. But you're supposed to do it like every day, and it'll make it grow. Can you imagine pumping your penis? Where do you find that? I'll take you. <laughs> maybe after I use the penis pump. No. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, maybe pump it up. There's like the fourth joke about us <laughs> shagging this I know, episode. I'm upset. Um, maybe pump it up, or I'm pretty sure you can go to the doctors and get your penis enlarged if it is that small. I think uh, that you I can. don't think surgery's the answer. Um, somebody will accept your penis for what it is. At least that's what I'm telling myself. Yeah, three years strong. We're oh, getting there. Oh God, what if they don't? I mean, this person clearly won't. They've been together for two years and they're planning a future together together and then they've seen the two finger long cock is that a valid reason to not want to then have a future with someone because they've got a two finger penis and also why have you not ever seen anything about this with each other for two years that's instantly a red flag isn't it i know that they said they wanted to be of age but if they're both underage then it's not like weirder unless one of them is overage and one of them's underage and that's why they had to wait Mm -hmm. Mm, that would make more sense in which case you shouldn't be together at all weirdo vibes Mm. I don't really know what micro the, peen. Uh, Have you ever seen a micro penis? Like a picture every day. of one? What's it like? Uh small. Oh. Um, difficult. Like like a normal penis. But you know when you you know a horse? I do. Have yeah. you ever seen a Shetland pony? Yes. Exactly like that, but oh. just the willies. Just a bit little and stubby. Yeah. Mm. Let the nice. kids have a go at it. No, nice. Nice. Oh. <laughs> nice. That's nice. horrible. No. That's not good. <laughs> no. That's bad. That is not, not like that. Uh, an that attribute for a micro penis. No, that is bad. Uh, by the way, that wasn't about my micro penis. That was about. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Who's <laughs> this? Is, this is, I, oh I my god. I this episode is just too much, everyone. I'm sorry. I feel like a crackhead if I've had anything to do with the weirdness. Say it again. I feel like a crackhead. Bloody hell. If I have anything to do with the weirdness of this episode, which I don't think I do, then I sincerely apologise to everyone at home. Um, okay, one more thing that I want to say about this <laughs> is if you truly love someone, the size of their penis should not matter to you. Yeah. So the fact that you're questioning whether you should stay with them shows you maybe you hey, don't love them enough. Are you just reading out a text I've sent many girls? <laughs> 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 oh. Hey, the size of my penis. <laughs> <laughs> if you really like me, it shouldn't matter. <laughs> oh, bless. It is small, though, isn't it? Yeah. Um. Anyway, yeah, I think that that's pretty sound advice. Do we have one more call coming in? I think we do. One more call. Can you hear the phone? I can. Ooh. Speaking of bells. Ugh. Hi, Max and George. So. Recently, I've oh, found out that I have BPD, mm. um, but one of the symptoms is Big pathological lying, and I've told some pretty bad lies, and I'm scared that if I confront them to my friends, that um, I won't have any friends. So, yeah, just, like, what's your advice? And um, my name's Louie, by the way, so, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I, I bet the name is not Louis. What I bet that big, was a lie. B, big pussy disorder. It big, does not mean big. I'm big, pretty sure that it means borderline personality disorder. Not big pussy disorder. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it meant big pussy disorder, and that's why Louis keeps lying. Yeah. Um, that would be a brilliant thing <clears throat> if you get caught out in a lie. My pussy's just so big. I'm sorry, I lie well, the, all the, the time. L- the lie would be, I've got a normal sized pussy, <laughs> and everyone goes, "She's lying." Yeah. She's got a big one. Hmm. So, Louis, um, if that is your real name. Sorry, that really threw me off. Oh, God. This day is too long for me. <laughs> too long. I can't the penis go on. isn't luckily, though. Yeah, I know, it's tiny. Um, I think that it's actually quite fun to tell lies. I think that a little lie can't hurt. If it doesn't hurt anybody, it's quite enjoyable. Hmm. I enjoy um, just lying to strangers, speaking a different accent sometimes. Sometimes I go to shops. Okay, uh, let's let's role play. Okay. Again, um, I'll be a um, boss man at the corner shop. Okay. You come in and you just work your magic. Okay. Hi. Sorry, I didn't hear you come in the 
That would normally go oh, to the door. Sorry. Ding dong. No, it was like, ding, 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 ding. Oh, hello, sir. Hi there, you okay? Oh, you're from what I assume is Australia. Yes, I am. Whereabouts in Australia? I've got mm. a, I've got a family who lives there. In Sydney. Sydney. Mm-hmm. Oh, I had a family that lived there as well, but they all got shot down. Oh. Mm. I'm so sorry to hear that. It was a shark attack. A shark. It was a shock attack or a shark one. A shark. A shark attack. Shark. Oh. And they I'm got so, shot. I'm so, I'm so sorry to hear they got shot as they well. They did. It was That's a, an awful lot to deal it's with. It's very um. rare, but they, the, the sharks attacked and they tried to sh- shoot the shark, but they actually only hit my entire family. And what was it you wanted from the shop? Just um, a new family, if you've got one. I'm going through really hard. I don't know if I mentioned, but my whole family was shot down during a shark attack. You haven't mentioned that you're also South African either. I am. Mm. Yes. Oh, God, well, um, the rule of um, a good lie is always just go with it and yes and okay good rule of I'll keep that in mind carry on I Sorry. can see through the imprint in your skinny jeans that you've got a tiny penis as well yes I do and what, is, what else is that in your pocket it I can w- see is it was that... shot off in a shark attack my penis do all the sharks wield weapons they do I can see you don't anymore no it's, it's, it's I'm concealing a package but it's very small what is happening right now? I'm just going along with it because I'm a good liar. This is this is this what would happen in a normal scenario? This is what happens to me on the daily. No, we don't need to do the accent. Anymore. Okay, this happens to me a lot. Yes, it does. What was the last time you did it? Give me. No, so I used it. to um, go after school. I would go into town with like one of my friends, and we'd put on accents and just lie to shopkeepers in different shops and pretend that we were going to buy things, and then never do it. And like ask their opinion on like. For example, we'd be like in the Yankee Candle store and just be like, um, which one do you think my mum would like? And we'd pretend that we're a brother and sister. Wow, it's funny. And um, then they'd unpackage a candle and then we'd be like, oh my God, we're not actually getting one. We're not actually getting one. We're not, we're not related. What? It's crazy. That's mental. And we they were thought fucking you were getting mental. a candle. No. But you were. But, but So basically they thought we were getting a candle. And then they'd like, they'd get the candle and we weren't. What you should have done is you should have oh. gone in with a Cockney accent. Oh. And be like, I'm looking for full candles. Oh. And then the guy would have been like, are they talking candles or fork handles? Oh. I don't know what to do now. Yeah. That would have been good. That would have been good. I'll do that next time. Um, but yeah, advice for Louis. Um, <laughs> if if it's part of your disorder, is it a disorder but BPD? I assume well, maybe. I mean, it's called disorder in the name, so I would imagine so. Borderline personality disorder. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> BPD <Okay>. disorder. <laughs> Borderline personality okay, disorder. Yeah, it disorder. is, yeah. Um, then I think, you know, you can't change who you are and just go with it. Just make sure maybe that the lies are a bit more fun as opposed to life ruining. Yeah. Like if you go up to your mom and you're like, um, do you know your new boyfriend? He fingered me last night. Then that's going to ruin not only yeah. the boyfriend's life, but also your mum's and maybe yours. So yeah. don't lie about that. I'd also say if they pull you up on it, say... Look, I do have BPD. I apologise if it's pussy disorder. Yeah, my pussy is overwhelming at yeah. times. Yeah, all knowing, all um. encompassing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they should take that into account. Yeah, well, you'd hope so. I mean, if I walked into a room with the world's largest puss, I'm hoping that everybody in there would take it into account. If you know, well, what now I mean. you know how I feel walking into a room with you. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, um, <laughs> I feel like we've given I feel like we've given some really good advice today. Yeah, I think that everybody who's listened to this should subscribe, and um, has also probably learned quite a few interesting things that maybe they didn't know before. Yeah, like what BPD stands for. Exactly, I Absolutely. didn't know. But now there we I go. Do. See, educational podcast. You are welcome. If you enjoyed and you're watching, give us a like and a subscribe. Do it. Comment now. down below. What should they comment this week? Oh my god! If you made it, if this, you made far, it this far, c- comment um, big big pussy disorder. Will it well, let them comment that's, that? That's just not going to be good for you. Will it com- comment? Okay section. then. Um, Comment, comment what um, you think BPD yes, stands for. Yes, come up with something. So, right, I think BPD That's it. Let's stands make fun for of this disorder together. Yes. And the one with the most likes will get absolutely nothing. Yeah. Yep. Apart from a swift high five from Woo! us in the post. If you ever see us. Um, um, and if you listen to this on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you can listen to fine podcasts, audio listeners out there, then please drop us a subscribe slash follow and give this podcast five stars because it really helps us do things. Love we you. love our stars. We love you, audio listeners, forever and always. 
And until next time, if you've got a big pussy, it's not a disorder. Be proud of it. Be P or D proud of it. Wow. Be P or D. Yes. Nailed it. Yay. See you next time. Bye. Mwah.